Welcome back. Right now we have the opportunity to talk with actor Jacob Hopkins. You will likely recognize him. He's been the voice of Gumball as well as starred in The Goldbergs and more. Jacob, thanks for talking with us today. Yeah, it's my pleasure. So I'd love to just start from the beginning. What made you decide to go into show business per se? Oh man, well, my dad actually used to be an actor and um, back in the day I was like five years old and uh, we were just running errands one day and uh, he says, hey, we got to stop by my agents. Of course, I have no idea what that is. I'm like, yeah, okay, whatever. And we go there, right? And um, they look over at me and they're like, who, who is this guy? Did, is he interested in acting? Would he want to act? And I was like, sure. And stood up. I'm like, what's acting, <laughs> right? And uh, just all went from there. So you do many things. You've been involved in the amazing world of Gumball as the voice of Gumball. Also, as I mentioned, the Goldbergs. You've done several films as well. What is that like to go back and forth between acting on screen as well as using your voice in animated screens as well? Yeah, yeah. Both mediums are incredibly fun. Um, the on camera, right, there's like a realness to it. There's a groundness to it. A lot of the acting is through your eyes and your body language. Um, but with voice acting, you get to go even a step further, right? You got to project every emotion and volume in your voice solely, right? And that means you got to go beyond life, right? You got to go crazier than crazy. What was your first project? Was it voice acting or on screen? It was actually on screen. Um, it was a Kmart commercial and um, with Jacqueline Smith. And uh, it, was, it was like a Mother's Day special. And uh, that was my very first job. But then my first like movie that I booked after that was Priest with Paul Bettany. Uh, then I did True Blood, where I played Alexander Drew. I was like... Um, I was I was the oldest vampire stuck in like a nine year old's body, but I was like one of the most powerful on the uh, vampire council. And then after that, I got Gumball. So I did like a whole um, like I, I, I started out doing a lot of on camera acting, and then I transitioned into voiceover, which I still do to this day. You played a wide variety of roles. What is it like being on the set of The Goldbergs? You've had a long-standing role in that show. Tell me a little bit about that. Yeah, The Goldbergs is awesome, especially for me as an 80s fan. Um, got my parents to thank for that. Uh, man, it's so surreal. Like, everyone's super nice. Everyone's super funny. It's like a family. Um, but being on set is, is super bizarre. And it's fun because it's like they do such a good job like immersing everyone in this 80s world and it's it's really really cool. You also recently wrapped a film called Carolina's Calling. Tell me a little bit about that film and who you play. Yeah yeah so we can actually expect that film to come out later this year in December. Um, Car Carolina's Calling um, is a movie about an engineer who manifests continuous energy and during an experiment there's like this huge explosion that sends a blast into outer space that knocks an alien down to earth and the alien uses his psychic powers to contact the engineer so they team up and send him back into space um in that movie i play zach who is the love interest of the engineer's daughter savannah moss you've been very busy i'm impressed <laughs> thank you I when, try. When you look back at your varied and frankly long career, despite how young you are, do you have a favorite role, a favorite project? Oh, I will always, always cherish Gumball. Um, Gumball Watterson, that was the very first uh, voiceover gig I booked. And I did it for like four years. And it really opened up all these voiceover opportunities to me. And um, I'm really grateful. You've also been active in some nonprofit opportunities. You are a celebrity ambassador for the Jonathan Foundation. How can you get involved in that? Yeah, so you can always go to the jonathanfoundation.org to donate, or you can go to the annual events, um, which the dates and times are, and locations are posted on their website, of course. And you can always go to their Instagram, which is the Jonathan Foundation. Um, you can go to my Instagram, which is Hopkins Jake. I constantly post about the Jonathan Foundation. Um, the Jonathan Foundation um, 
basically gets the proper assessments and education needed for children with learning disabilities. And um, I'm very grateful to be part of it. Well, it's exciting to talk with you and hear everything that's happening. What is next for you? Can you tell us anything about some future projects? Yeah, actually, I'm going back uh, to film more Goldbergs in August, uh, so you can expect more episodes soon. Well, it's great. We are showing how we can follow you on social media. Tell us exactly what we can do to find out everything that you're involved in. Of course. As you know, my Instagram is HopkinsJake, and my Twitter is HopkinsJacob5. Perfect. Well, thanks so much, Jacob, for spending time with us here on Park City Television. It's been a pleasure meeting you, hearing about all of your previous projects, upcoming projects, and more. We want to remind everyone to tune into your most recent project, Dragons Rescue Riders. Thank you so much. All right. We'll be back more on Mountain Connections right after this.